I did it. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, I swore to you that I would do off-screen training. And in this episode, I'm here to tell you I did just that. It's a Christmas stinking miracle, everybody. And now what are we gonna do? We're gonna be stuck on this main menu for a long stinking time, that's for sure. Let's see, what kind of mun muns do we got to sell? Got that. We got a computer asking me if I want to update. Let's get better together. I actually finally feel better now. How wonderful. Uh, sell that. Any more money? Uh, yes, one more bag of money. And I think we're good for now. So yeah, in the last episode, I said it was finally the time where I would get Lissa fully leveled up so that I could change her class. And I am finally stinking doing it. Oh boy! It's been a long time coming, but we are finally stinking here. We also got a lot of stinking communication sessions to go through. I tried to actually keep them keep the characters as separated as possible so that we wouldn't be flooded with a million communication sessions as soon as we got back but uh we still got a lot of them so uh we'll see where that takes us i guess but i think before we do that we should upgrade our stuff so i could actually um see what we're dealing with i guess how do you even do that on this menu inventory i guess if i want to change the class i put i give a seal to them uh, Alyssa has a second seal in her inventory, so let's go ahead and change her class. So I could either change her to a Pegasus Knight or a Trobador with a second seal. Or if I were to use a Master Seal, I would be able to uh, change her class into... A war cleric, yeah. If you thought it was really singing weird that she uses an axe in Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, that's why. A seasoned cleric who heals with staves and hurts with axes. I was trying to think about this and like I was asking people for their advice and whatnot. And every time someone recommended I go with like the Dark Flyer or like make her into a Pegasus Knight that upgrade that into a Dark Flyer later on, everyone said it was because they, um, they wanted her to like pass those stats onto her child. But here's the thing, like I said before, I'm not going to be using the children, so I think for that reason, because the characters I plan on using for the rest of the game, I don't have a single axe user on the team, and even though I don't really put much thought into the uh, strengths and weaknesses of weapons, I kind of just like check to see how much damage does what and go with it, I think it would be nice if we had at least one axe user on the team, not to mention the fact that I'm more, I'm pretty much going to be pairing her up with Frederick uh, more often than not, and he already is a, a horse rider, so he could get across the map no problem, so I don't think it's all that necessary to pair up a horse rider with a Pegasus rider, so maybe it's not the smartest decision, but for that reason, I'm going to change her into a war cleric. Let's do it! Finally, Lissa cannot be so stinking useless. Well, it's not that she was useless, it's just that she died a lot. But now, it's all about to change because now she can finally fight back. Ta-da! Do I look good or do I look great? She finally learned how to use the axe. We'll definitely have to give her a weapon before we head into battle. Uh, let's see if I can do that right now before I forget. So we got steel axes and silver axes. Um, a ladle. Oh yeah, I should probably change Libra's uh, weapon at some point. Uh, let's go with the silver axe. Uh, sure, why not? We'll take that. Up next, Olivia. Uh, by the way, uh, in terms of how difficult it was to level up Lissa, I got her to level 14 in just one battle, so... I was really sinking, uh, shirking my responsibilities and making it seem like a lot more difficult than it really was, but it was insanely easy. Though I noticed that like, you don't always have random encounters on the field. I think it's either after story progress, you get new ones loaded onto the screen, or if you just wait like a certain amount of hours. I want to say it's 24 hours, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Um, I also was hopeful that I would get Olivia to level 10 at least so I could change her class because I kind of want to switch Sumia out for Olivia just because I like this character a lot more, but uh, it didn't quite work out yet. But we'll see if we can uh, get her further in the ranks. be kind of cool. Uh, anyone else that wanted to upgrade or change? I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Um, I think one thing to know, I don't know if this happened last episode or if it was during off-screen training, but Payne actually got to level 21, which may seem kind of weird. All the other characters, they max out at level 20 and can't get any more experience. I think Payne and Noe are the only ones who can uh, change their... Uh, who level up beyond level 20 it's either the 25 or, tw or the 30 because uh their beast form is like such a unique class to them so uh there's some people who would rather just keep them in this form rather than changing them to just a generic unit and getting rid of their beast attributes and i kind of want to play that way as well so i'll see how far i could go with just uh their base forms though i know the upgrading to them is kind of the smarter move but who says i ever make smart decisions in this game uh libra let's go ahead and switch your weapon immediately we'll trade it with the ladle uh but yeah i think we're good i know we could upgrade other characters like lucina we could change our class if we want to i just don't really want to just yet uh tharch is very close to level 20 so we'll be upgrading her class soon long q is also very close to level 20 so we'll be changing his class sooner upgrading it rather uh, is that really all we're doing i was kind of hoping we'd have more to do but I was kind of going to, I was tempted to wait until we got uh, Olivia to level uh, 10 or so, just so I could upgrade her as well, but I wanted to get recording started, so I just sort of went ahead with it. Hopefully I won't regret that. But yeah, uh, now that we got Morgan in the last episode, we automatically have C rank communications with uh, his father, his mother, and his sister, so let's go ahead and check those out. Well, hmm, I wonder why I have no memory of my father. All my memories of Mother are so crisp and clear. I remember what an amazing tactician she was, all the time we studied together. But nothing ab nothing at all about my father. It's one big blank. Hey. What are you up to, Morgan? Father. That's amazing. I was just thinking about you. Is that fate? This is totally fate. Family style fate. Uh, not until the next game, buddy. Sorry to break it to you. No. Uh, how did Mother put it? We're not pawns of some scripted fate. It's the invisible ties we forge that bind us. <laughs> so yeah, it's not fate. It's the whole invisible bond link thing. Hmm. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Even without my memories, there's an invisible thread that links us. Er, but that reminds me. Oh. I was just wondering how I could have possibly forgotten you, Father. Do you think maybe you could help me get those memories back? Right. I'd be happy to try, after all. <laughs> Yay, thanks so much. I'll start preparing. Oh, I can't wait to get started. <sighs> well, he's certainly got energy to spare. Prom and Morgan attain support level C. Now let's check out Morgan and Robin. Hey. Oh, mother, over here. Come with me for a minute. Huh? What is it, Morgan? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just, come on, I need to talk to you about something. Well, I'm afraid I'm a bit busy at the moment. Can we talk here? What? Here? Uh, that's not really... I can just wait, thanks. Whoa. Are you sure it's nothing urgent? Hmm. Um, no, it's... Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, all set. Now to lure Mother into this pitfall trap. <sighs> I'm back! Hey, let's talk a wa Let's take a walk, shall we? Right this way, Mother. You're acting very strange, Morgan. Almost. Just a couple more steps. <laughs> a pitfall? Now that's a classic. Oh, how did you know? I was super careful disguising it. It didn't look suspicious at all. Well... True, but your work on the pit is first class. But your odd behavior made it obvious. Subs... Subterfuge, whatever that means, and misdirection are half of any good trap, Morgan. I've got this. I'll get you next time. By the way, as long as you're here, mind helping me fill this hole in? If someone fell in by accident, they could really hurt themselves. <sighs> Wait, how deep did you make it? 
And finally, we're going to see Morgan communicate with his older sister, Lucina. This place is a mess. I really should straighten up more often. Is that a... Ah! What? Gods, I've never seen Morgan run so fast. Are we under attack? Morgan, what happened back there? Are you alright? Lucina! Very well. Breathe, Morgan. Calm down and tell me what happened. You have nothing to fear now that I'm here. Roach! Roach! Huh? A roach? As in a bug? Mm -hmm. Not a bug! I love bugs! A roach! A huge freakish nightmare one with gross hairy legs! It's horrible! You're telling me all this screaming and flailing was over a cockroach? Uh, I thought the Risen had come. You could have sent the camp into a panic. Ah! Sid's back! And it can fly! Stay away! Don't come near me! What? Come now. I don't see what all the fuss is. <laughs> see? See? It's uh, the stuff of nightmares! Now hurry up and kill it! Kill it with fire magic or something! Oh no! I'm not going near that thing! It's huge! It's what? That, what happened to you having nothing to fear that you know that no, 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 you're here? Now are you gonna win this war and you can't even smoosh one stupid roach! Those two things are not related in the slightest! And you want to be a tactician, right? So figure out how to kill it! What's to figure out? Who plans out strategies for killing insects? Look, you're the older one, you can do it! Father told you to protect your little brother, didn't he? No. Uh, well, I suppose he did. Uh, Alright, I'll do something about it. Fantastic! Thanks, Lucina! Three cheers for once and for future exult! You're a royal too, you know. It wouldn't kill you to show a little more spine. Hey now, now's your chance. It just crawled into a corner behind the shelf. What? It's too dark. I can't see it. Well, you should light up Falchion. The ones you spot it, Kerstab. <sighs> Falchion isn't some common pitchfork, Morgan. It's a, it's a blade of legend. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> ah! It's flying again. It's flying. A formidable foe as it may be, I won't allow it to set a single hairy leg on you. Go, Lucina, go! Get him! Hey. What in the name of... What are you two doing in here? Father. Huh? Father! <sighs> Honestly, you two, all that commotion over a silly insect. What were you thinking? <sighs> sorry. I'm so sorry. No. Just see that it never happens again. <laughs> Figures he would be the one to get it. He's unshakable. It's true, although he was a lot less calm when it came to scolding us. Huh? Oh, were you actually down? To, are you actually still down about that? I actually rather enjoyed it. Can't I can't seem I can't remember the two of us ever getting in trouble like that before. It felt strangely familiar somehow. Kind of a happy, nostalgic feeling. I confess, it did have its moments. They have Lucina in such a different light than I imagine her when you have these communication sessions. It's really sticking funny. Uh, up next is... Oh, we could get to the A rank with Noe and Tharja, which is really cool. And also, I got Noe and Longku uh, communication session. I guess that's useful. Uh, first, we'll, we'll do the minor one first, I guess. So, hey. Longku, play with me. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, please. It's boring playing by myself. Aren't you so bored? No. I like being alone. Go ask someone else. I was going to, but they all look super busy. Are you saying I don't? Because I am busy. Very busy indeed. <laughs> Your tears have no effect on me. Besides, everyone knows I have a crippling fear of women. And yet... Why do I feel that fear around her? I must learn why. What are you... What are you trying to say? I can't hear because I'm crying! No. Nothing of importance. However, I have decided that I will play with you, but only for a short time. Thanks! Yippee! You're the best! So? Yes, yes. Stop hopping around. Now, what game do you wish to play? Listen. Mm, uh, thinking hard. Mm, oh, I know. Let's play house. What? I do not know that game. 
but it does sound like something I'd enjoy. Nope. It'll be fun. You get to play dad. Uh, if you insist. Only for a short while. Okay. Great. And I'll be mummy. Right. Is that it for the rules then? I was hoping dice were involved. That's a communication session if I ever saw one. Okay then, and at long last, the A-rank between Noe and Tharja. <laughs> Mom! Dad! <laughs> what? Noe. Huh? Oh, Tharja. Yeah, yeah. You figured it out, haven't you? About your parents? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you have more news? Stop it, Noe. You don't have to pretend. I can tell you've been crying. And I know why. I don't cry. I'm really strong. <laughs> Besides, nothing bad has happened. Mom and Dad are just far away. So I don't have any reason to cry. Look, I'm fine, alright? Yeah. Alright, you weren't crying. I was clearly mistaken. Oh, I almost forgot. I decided to look into your future the other day. Huh? You did? Pretty much. You survive the war, and you end up living a very happy life. Every day is full of laughter, and you're never lonely again. Hmm. Well, that sounds just like now. I have you and all the shepherds, and every day is super fun. Well? And it's only going to get better, so dry those tears. Okay. Hmm. What tears? I'm strong, remember? <laughs> so you are, Noe. So you are. This is a very cute communication session. They have very... I like the contrasting personalities. They just work well together. And finally, we have uh, the B rank communication with Longku and Pain. Hmm, you again. Right. I want to return your bag of weeds. I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. <sighs> Idiot human. Why didn't you just throw it away? Never mind. Here, give it to me. Don't come any closer! I'll toss the bag away. I'll toss the bag that way, and you can pick it up. Please. Do you hate my kind so much? No. It is not your kind, I mind. It is your gender. Hmm. And why would you, a human skilled in swordplay, possibly fear all females? <laughs> I have my reasons. I am haunted by nightmares. Confused, terrifying memories from my past. When I approach a woman, be she Togwell or human, I am gripped by an icy fear. Right. That I am not the only one plagued by terrible memories. I do not like to speak of it. If others knew I still suffer from childish nightmares, they would think me weak. <sighs> Throw me the bag. Right. Thank you. Now wait right here. What are you doing? You. I'm making a special brew using the herbs I collected. Here. Hmm. It smells vile, and there are twigs floating in it. Yes. Just drink it down. Are you sure it's safe for humans? Good question. Drink it or don't. I care not. Very well. <laughs> it tastes even worse than it smells. Right. But you still find it helps with your nightmares. Gods, that was awful. I hope this isn't some kind of elaborate practical joke. Pairing up Long Ku has been the toughest decision for me. Because I really like his story and he has such good different... He has such great communication sessions with a lot of the female characters, and they all offer something different. I did Long Ku and Pain. I did Long Ku and Pain with my original playthrough, and I was considering switching it up to either Tharja or to Cherish. But I don't know. I feel like I still want to go through with Long Ku and Pain. If something else happens along the way, I might do it. But for now, I think I'm going to stick with these two together. 
And oh yeah, we got one more. So we got Robin and Lissa. I was working towards that a while back and we got a new upgrade for it. So let's finish this off. <sighs> I am beat. Huh? All tuckered out, Robin? How about a quick refreshing shoulder rub? Hmm. What are you plotting now? <laughs> oh please, one little joke, one little time and you all get paranoid. This isn't about pranking anybody. I figure I owe you. Huh? How do you figure? Because you've taken a huge weight off my brother's shoulders, silly. You know what Crom's like. He never asks for help, even when he needs it. But he trusts you, Robin, enough to rely on you. He's not the type to come out and say it, but I know he's grateful. Um, you think so? Right. I know so. Nobody knows my big brother like me. Yeah. Well, that is nice to hear. Hey. So what do you say? Free massage? Going once? Going twice? Whoa. Okay, I accept, I accept. Thanks, Lissa. Right. Okay, then. Urgh, geez, your muscles are just one big knot back here. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Right there. Oh, oh, that feels amazing. Ta-da! How about this? <laughs> ah, ah, cold, cold and slimy and cold! Uh, uh, it moved! What did you do, Lisa? What in blazes is that? <laughs> oh, relax. It was just a frog. You were just so perfectly calm. <laughs> I couldn't resist. It had to be done. I'm pretty sure it did not. And weren't you just saying yesterday that frogs make you all pukey? I'm willing to put up with a lot for the sake of comedy. Well, that makes one of us. Kind of wish we ended on the more sweeter note more sweeter note of long coup and pain but whatever that's really funny <sighs> 20 minutes in and we are finally caught up it's finally time to head into chapter 14 let's go Ah, oh, take it all in. Breathtaking. Somehow, our troubles feel a lifetime away out here. Mm. Yet in truth, we're headed straight toward them. I should be grateful the Plesians delivered us this fleet, as promised. But it's my first time on a vessel, and my legs. I never fancy myself a sea captain. <laughs> this is my first voyage as well. In my time, all ships were destroyed, smashed to pieces, along with their ports. Listen. Lucina, something I've been meaning to ask. After you stopped M's assassination, why didn't you stay with us? I'm so sorry. I felt I had no other choice. I could not risk altering history any more than necessary. I saw only to divert events that directly led to Grima's return. Huh? Hey, so wait. What about the guys who tried to kill Krom in the gardens? What would have happened if you didn't save him? Yes. He would have been gravely wounded. And those wounds would have played a part in the tragedies to come. Oh. Whoa! Good thing you changed things, huh? But don't you see? If indeed they have changed, the river of time always favors its original course. Take the Exalt's death. I stalled it, yes, but in the end, I was not able to prevent it. You did what you could. I was so certain it was over that I'd saved the world. But time simply found another way back to its course. Perhaps the task is simply too great. Perhaps if I'd done something differently, I replay events in my head over and over. No. You did your best, and you saved me after all. Yes. You're kind, Father, but nothing is certain. Another could take your life. Time could find a way. Listen. Do you know how I die? <sighs> Only rumors. I was told you fell in a great battle, fought to sway your destiny, and that you were murdered, betrayed by someone dear to you. Uh, 
You all right? Robin, what is it? Oh. Uh, my head. I don't... Forgive me. I'm fine. After your murder and Grima's return, I took the name Marth and fought back. I prayed to the Hero King for a small part of the strength he used to save the world. <sighs> but I need this subterfuge no longer. I chose to fight as Lucina now. The name that reminds me of the strength in the man and the woman who chose it. Good. A strength shared by the woman who bears it. Oh, an urgent, my lord. The Pegasus Knights report the Valmese fleet matches ours, ship for ship. Hmm? Your tone tells me this is not good news. Their troops vastly outnumber ours. Our vessels are half full at best. But every Valmese ship is packed from the stem to stern with soldiers. Right. If we attempt to board them in a straight fight, we'll be slaughtered. Or if we have little choice but to try anyway. Plesia had no men to spare, but they were generous with other supplies, including oil. Perhaps a clever tactician could find a use for that. Uh, we got one of those. Hmm, perhaps she could. Exactly. If we could put their ships to flame, they'd have nowhere to escape to. We could... You could roast us all like hams, like steamed hams. Are you truly so eager to die, woman? Do you have a better idea, Oaf? The problem is we have no catapults. Hmm. How to get lit oil on the decks without our own ships getting caught in the blaze? Hmm. I see. Unless we want our ships caught in the blaze. Why in the gods' names would... Well, I know better than to question Robin. Especially not when she has that look in her eyes. God save us from what she's cooked up this time. Let's just hope it's not us. Crumb. I have an idea. Hmm? Those words from your mouth are music to my ears, Robin. All right. But for my plan to work, we'll need to continue to dispute the chain of command. Our strongest team would need to board their ship and kill their general. As our best captain, I'd have you head the squad, but you are the prince, so... It's all right. I am the prince, so no one can order me not to go. I will lead the assault. <sighs> this plan truly stands a chance. <laughs> so much has changed since we found you that day, lying in the open field. Hard to believe you determine the fate of our entire army now, our entire people. Destiny has a strange way. No. Krom, it's not destiny. What? All right. We're not pawns of some scripted fate. I believe we're more, much more. Really? How do you mean? Yeah. There's something between us all, something that keeps us together. Like invisible ties, connecting us, giving us strength. We forge these ties, and we strengthen them. If we preserve them, or break them, it will be by our choices, not some destiny. Robin. <laughs> I think this salty air might have gone to your head. <laughs> <sighs> alright, alright, perhaps enough philosophy for one day. There are still details to discuss. <laughs> Indeed there are, and preparations to be made. Oh, and Robin? If we are all bound by these invisible ties, I thank the gods it's with you. Are you ready? Now then, everyone, look lively. We have work to do. Time to battle! How many people do I have to work with? <sighs> well, I knew this day would come. We need to get rid of somebody. Hmm. Well, I kind of alluded to it unknowingly when I was saying how I wanted to change Lissa to an axe user because we 
didn't have any others besides her. And that's just it. I'm getting rid of Libra. He was good to us, definitely. An incredibly powerful ally. And if we ever get the opportunity to use him again, I will definitely let him rejoin the group. But he's honestly the one I have the least amount of attachment to. So for that reason, I think we're going to say goodbye. We could also get rid of Olivia technically, but I want to see if I could get her into this group. So I'll keep her around and see if it works. Now, as for the map, we all start on this middle ground. There's a lot of sinking treasure, but a lot of enemies bunched up in one little place. Anna's gonna be busy. Hmm. I think she'll get paired up with Sumia and just go to town on all these people. That would have been awkward. Let's go. One ship against three of ours, they're either very brave or very stupid. Either way, their bodies will float on the long sea before the day is done. Defeat Commander! Player phase. Okay, first things first, Anna, pair up with Sumia. And... This could end very poorly. Um... Especially since I didn't give Sumi a weapon! Oh boy! Uh... Huh. Well, that just stinks. I recover! Ooh, nice. Uh, get rid of the bow, I guess, because I can't use it. Uh, phooey. What are we going to be doing? I think I'm going to be pairing Olivia with... Mm, Cherish? I guess? I just don't have any other real good option, really. I really want to start growing out the communication sessions with... Crom with Lissa and Frederick. And then Robin with Lissa and Frederick. Then after that, I'll do Crom and Lucina. And then, I guess, Robin and Lucina at the same time, so... Huh, for now, Longku, you're gonna go with Pain. Ten. Ten. Takes less damage, let's go. This is gonna be a tough fight. It was around this point in the game where you start getting a buttload of game overs. Let's see if we continue that trend. Okay, thank you for missing. This is also the part of the game where uh, enemies missing will save your life. And it's kind of required for you to beat the game. Uh, they are Lance users, so... Maybe... Oh, it's too far. Well, Robin's gonna uh, take care of this guy. Oh, Ignis. Okay, that's cool. I think I needed to, like... Uh, for Lissa, I would need to, like, equip it. Uh... So, like, because it's not equipped right this second, she won't be able to counterattack when these guys show up, so... I should change that. Uh-oh. Uh, Noe and Tharja are finished, now that I think about it. So, I could have paired Olivia up with someone else, one of them. Huh. Krom, you go with Frederick. And I want to distract them from hurting Anna, so we're gonna get them over here. Uh, Lucina and Tharja? I'm wondering. I just need to get more guys over here. Uh, ten. Zero, okay. Uh, very, very good. I uh, got a chest key, doesn't really, don't really need it though, because we got uh, Anna with us. Lucina on her own is never really great. Uh, I might regret this. Oh god, I might regret this. Let's go over here instead. And Lucina, hang back here for a bit. So I apologize if my voice is kind of uh, scratchy and raspy right now. 
Uh, I was doing a lot of singing practice because it's one of my acting finals. I got to sing something. I uh, recently saw the play Dear Evan Hansen. Uh, the song's written by the same people who did the songs for Greatest Showman, so of course I liked it. No, it was really singing good, and I really am glad that I'm uh, doing this for the final. So, just a matter of whether or not it'll go well. I just gotta practice, but not too much, so I don't end up losing my voice, like, right when I got it back, so... Very awkward balance on what I can and can't do with it. Very awkward instrument that needs very specific maintaining, but hopefully it'll all work out. So there's so many things we could talk about from, like, last time I recorded and everything. I guess the main thing, uh, Pokemon finally announced Generation 8, and they showed us a glimpse of it. I got mixed feelings about it, so... Uh, first off, I'm glad it's on the Switch. I would have been so upset if it was on 3DS. My god. But, um... I think it looks gorgeous in a lot of environments and whatnot, but... I feel like they're still in that grid. Like, it looks too familiar to the... to Sun and Moon to where... I feel like they're not taking enough risks with, like, new environments or animation. It looks too much like a handheld game, even though it's on a console now. And I wish it wasn't like that. I kind of wish... Like, Coliseum and XD still look more advanced in terms of, like, their environments and, like, the roaminess of it, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, it's just, like, it looks like they're holding themselves back just for the sake of, like, following the same format that they've always done. And I wish that they didn't do that, so... 69! So, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to wait and see, and maybe they'll do that in the future, but... It's not, like, a game-breaker thing. A lot of people are asking for, like, a free-roaming camera. There's... I don't understand the benefit of that in an RPG. I get it, it would be nice, but, like, I don't see the whole point in, like, a gameplay standpoint, so I'm okay with them not having a free-roaming camera. As for the starters, um, as usual with any Pokemon generation, as soon as I see the starters, I hate them. As soon as I see any new Pokemon, I hate them. Um, it's just, like, I don't know, I uh, take a very long time to actually get used to them, so... For now, like, after a few days, though, I already am kind of used to them, and I, I'm i somewhat more accepting of the designs. It definitely helps with, like, fan art, because, like, they show a bunch of different angles and different environments of the Pokemon, and it makes me a lot more accepting of them, so... Um, in terms of, like, which starter I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to be going with Grookey, because I love grass types and I love monkeys, so it's a match made in heaven for me. Alright, so, uh, she's level 22, and I can never remember if she maxed out 25 or 30, but we'll find out eventually. But yeah, oh god, Anna, please do not die. Maybe it would have been better to put Lissa over there because then she could heal you. Oh well, uh, her steel sword broke, no! Do you have another sword? You don't. Okay. Well, at least this guy's in the way. Oh no, they can still attack her. Oh, please dodge. Oh, come on, it's a 46% chance. Oh, thank you, Sumia. God, I'm not prepared. Oh, oh, right when I think she's safe. That's really, really bad, actually. I did not want to lose Anna at the beginning of this battle. Because there's a buttload of treasure that we're trying to get. Huh. So we gotta rely on the keys. And if not that, then we won't have anything, I guess. Robin's just murdering everyone. I don't have to worry about her in the slightest, unless she runs out of her Katarina Bolt. I was seriously expecting to have it right there, but no. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on doing with that. Uh, no damage at all. Robin, what the fruit? You're just thinking amazing. 111, sure. Just keep on destroying everything. And then we got this guy going after pain. Oh, uh, but yeah, I, for a second I was thinking I was gonna go with Score Bunny, but then I uh, didn't really like the design the more I looked at it. Um, Sobble just looks weird to me, and I don't know, the name is just really dumb and stuff. Uh, though, then again, Grookey's also kind of a dumb name, but I don't know. I it just, I love how little, like, stubby and tubby he looks. He looks like he, I don't know, reminds me of my dog, kind of, and like giving a little tummy rub and everything like that. Like, I could picture myself giving Grookey a tummy rub, and that's a great sentence to talk about. Ether, hey! I know that thing from Smash Brothers. 619 is sort of a 69. So lame that, like, Lucina's always. I feel like, I think the children can't interact with. Like, don't have any communication sessions with the 
older characters unless they're specifically related to them. So I think she can only do uh, communication sessions with Robin and Krom. Maybe Lissa as well, but I'm not sure. Her, so what now? Uh, can I open up this chest? No, I cannot because I don't have a key. A talisman? What does that do? Increase the resistance by two. None of you have keys, so I feel like there's no point in even going over here. Unless I just want to get the experience. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Just fight this guy in the sky. So we're hoping we can take him down one hit. Wait! Cherish is an axe user! What the fruit am I saying? Oh my god, I don't know anything about any of my characters. Uh, whatever. Fire Loom's hard. Or even stab this guy. Nah, no, whatever. I hopefully won't regret uh, getting rid of Lissa's, like, make her into a war cleric instead of a sinking thing of Mahusi, instead of a, like, a dark flyer or whatever. Like, I guess a Pegasus would be fitting for her, but I don't know, we already have flying units, and, like, when I pair up with Frederick, it doesn't make all that much sense, but right now I'm pairing her up with Krom and Robin, so. Uh, whatever. Poor life choices. What else is new? Uh, hooey. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, hello! Critical hit Longku, like he always does. Alright, he's already at level 19. One more level and he'll be good to upgrade. As for Lissa, I want to get her to do some things. Items, equip, she can't, she can't use it. Oh. 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 Why am I the worst at Fire Emblem? I was really hoping for a pick of God and pray, just to lighten the mood. Uh, I'm the worst. Let's go over here. Get rid of this guy. And we're good. Or not. Now we are. Hooray. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just bummed out that I can't actually do anything right, it seems. I will be very close to upgrading Tharja and uh, Longku, though. I got the short axe, doesn't really matter, because Liss is over there! Uh, who do I have left? Uh, Sumia. <laughs> Sumia's dead. She doesn't even have a weapon! What the fruit am I doing? Uh, you know what? Get over to Lucina if you can. You can't, but. Uh, how about just get this then? Uh, of course, it was weapon proficiency, so it's kind of wasted on her, though. Uh, Robin and Lissa. Just get rid of this guy. At least we're making quick work of them. I just wish we didn't lose Anna. That kind of put a monkey wrench in our plans. That's what I call progress. If that's what you call it, that I'm not going to question it. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do now? Going to do a little stabby stabby, though that's nothing for Tharja to worry about because she's got no Sferatu. Gonna get healed, no problem. Uh, wait, what? If I hold on the R button, I could just do it like that? Hmm. Well, it makes it quicker, I guess. I was considering, like, if I wanted to do that, like, just start speeding up the battles, or, uh, like I showed before, you press the start button during the thing to just skip the scene entirely. I guess that's at least makes it so you can't. Uh, you won't be looking at just a blank screen the entire time, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but you need to get the heck out of here, because you're useless. Uh, you guys... Uh, switch to Krom? Just want to give him some experience now. Just gets rid of that guy. 69! Oh, I knew it was the right decision. Oh, not a level up. And then we will... Actually, we'll do it right here just so 
They're all connected and they get their little hearts. And let's see, can Tharja get to level 20 now? You know, a lot of singing criticals. Did pretty good, all things considered, aside from just the one mess up with Anna. Uh, Cherish, I want... Maybe... No, I just want to get rid of this guy. Or Gal, it seems. Oh, we got a short spear. That'd be good for... Uh, what's her face? Sumia, if we get her over here. Uh, Lucina. Uh, that's a lot of damage, though. I'll have you in the back. Uh, we're going to get Robin over here. Attack this guy. I feel like this is one of those battles that ends as soon as we get rid of the captain. Would you be interested in fighting by my son in the coming battle? Okay, I'll do my best. Together we can take whatever bad guys throw at us. Sure, whatever. Relationship approved. Goody. Oh, we'll wait a bit. What's up now? Player phase? I thought, I thought someone got a key. Oh, wait. Tharja has a key. Open this up. But they can't use a key multiple times. And we got money. Not really important, though. Never short on money in this game. Let's go over here. Uh, Lucina pair up with Sumia just cuz. There's really no point aside from the experience, I guess. But I want the experience, so let's bring them over here. I guess that's it. And they're coming. Oh boy, even more are coming. Uh, let's get Krom down here. Krom on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Uh, let's go right here, I guess. Switch, attack, go! Let's see how poorly this turns out. Oh, jeez. Well, at least we got rid of him. Gets a level up. Wish list was just a little bit closer, though, so she could heal her. Uh, it's not the end of the world if Lucina dies, though. She's not like Krom or Robin. Uh, let's just get right in front of her. Attack this guy. Cherish is actually being used usefully for once. Hooray! I just kind of wish he could one hit KO things. Uh, go down here. And I guess that's it. Uh, got this guy. He's going to get finished off by Cherish, hopefully. Thank you. Victory! Victory! I'm so excited. Got two more. That's from a distance. Oh no. I can't go the distance. And this guy is gonna get his butt kicked. God, the defense though. Huh. Even more though? Come on. Uh I just want to get Long Ku and Farja up to level 20 in this battle. They're all the way over here. Come on, dudes. Let's... Oh, God. That's not good. I forgot Olivia was even with us. Um... Huh. Let's get Cherish back here, then. I guess. Long coup. It's not great. Why am I not moving Lissa if I want her to come on and come on and heal people? I don't know. I'm not good at this game. I'm not good at Fire Emblem. Let's see what we got. Thank you for the defense. And thank you for the critical! We might actually get to take this guy out. Or not. Uh, you guys stay here, I guess? What do we got? Okay, he's gonna get attacked. Sorry, I'm just sort of quite just like, I don't know what else to say. Just kind of wanted to get these guys to level up. Hopefully that'll happen soon. Uh, dodge it. Thank you. Get rid of that guy. 
and not quite topped off, but he gets weapon in level A, which is nice. Get a talisman. I need to use all those stat increase items. I don't know who to give them to, though. I'll probably do that in between this and the next episode, just because I don't want to have you guys watch that. Probably be very boring. Like this episode right now. Her, her. God, this is going to be a weird sneak LP. All the episodes are going to be like hour long. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll be received, but hopefully someone enjoys it. Huh. Okay, maybe Lunky will get maxed out right now. Would very much appreciate that. Survey says. We are ready to go. All right, baby. Never saying that again. But now, even more reinforcements. We really just gotta get rid of the leader. Uh, Long Ku? You could, you could step back, and in the middle of a battle, we will use a Master Seal. I want to keep him as a Sword Master, so I'm not gonna... Uh, change his class entirely. We could make him a Sword Master or an Assassin. I think he's much more suited as a Sword Master. High speed and wield swords only. Let's do it. Class change. As if he didn't have an easy enough time already killing everything in sight. Like his other weapon is the ladle. Uh, Tharja, buddy. I'm gonna get you guys back here. Lissa, I guess, get experience some way this battle. Tharja, who could you finish off? Not them. Not them. And, okay, this guy. Let's go for it. I'm hanging in there. Thank you, Noe. And thank you! I'm getting maxed out. Very, very cool. Now I don't have to worry about uh, picking apart who I want to get the experience. Now we can just go all out and murder everybody! Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Samia, you don't got no weapon. Attack with Lucina. Get ready. Get ready. And we're good. Up next is with Cherish. Uh, I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't switch to Olivia when you're in the air. Uh, hopefully this wasn't, ba this wasn't a mistake. Okay, cool. No, no damage. Level up for Cherish, that's very nice. Enemy phase. Oh boy. That HP is low enough to where I could probably finish it off with Olivia. Let's see if that's right. Survey says... Huzzah! Get into level A. I'm actually making good progress, aside from the one Anna accident. I wonder if any of these new guys have keys. There's only that one treasure chest. Uh, do you have a key? No. Do you have a key? No. Do you have a key? No. But if you did, that wouldn't matter because the battle ends after we defeat you. Uh, no keys. No key as far as the eye can see. I'm drawing out this episode as long as humanly possible for no good reason. Uh, but yeah, Tharja, how's about a class change, buddy? You don't have a thingy, what the fruit? Uh, who has one? Who's got a master seal? I don't think I expected to have her thing change in this episode or something like that. Uh, trade with pain. Trade master seal for bullion use the master seal well let me check real quick actually i actually have a tab open of information do i want to use the master seal or a second seal for tharja i want i like her being a mage the other ones are knight and archer yeah i'm keeping her as a mage so master seal it is 
Dark Mage or a Sorcerer. A seasoned Dark Mage with fearsome magic. A seasoned Mountain Mage who wields tomes and swords. Huh. I thought, is she, yeah, she's riding a horse. A horse rider, huh? And also the Dark Knight, like Batman. I mean, this seems more fitting for her. But a horse rider would be cool. Oh, she can't use Nosferatu when she's a Dark Knight. But that makes no sense. It's a Dark Knight. Can't use Dark Magic. Sorcerer it is then. And she's still just as scandalous as ever. These new powers give me some wicked ideas. Man, we've got a lot of stinking stuff has happened this one episode. I don't even know what I'm gonna say in the next one. I'm like, last episode, a lot of stuff happened. How eloquently put. Um. Gonna have Lissa heal Long Ku. Just so we can get experience, I guess. And she's an A class mage now, which is nice, but I want her to be attacking. Huh, hand axe. I could give her a better axe, though, and the battle's almost over, so. We will get rid of this lady. Whatcha? You know, Krom, it's probably not the best idea to keep on shoving your sword into the boat every time you put it down. Okay. Guess that's your prerogative. Just don't know if the insurance agent will have anything to say about that. Uh, are you the last two? Long or pain? Level 1, level 16, 16, 16. Well, you can't even reach them. Let's see what Swordmaster Long is all about. Still just as fierce as ever, and with pain, there's no way anyone was standing up to that. We are good to go. Just gotta get everybody onto this boat. We're just ambushing them by, sp by storm. I don't know why I gotta sound all southern and stuff. Speaking of, of like, accents and whatnot, it's been a week. It's been, uh, since... Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield came out. By the way, that name is stupid. I hate it. Um, it's been a week since the game got announced, and I am already so stinking sick of all the Scottish jokes. Like, I, I don't know. I really hate it when people like obsess over accents. It's like my one of my biggest pet peeves in terms of comedy, because like I don't even see it as comedy. And like, anytime there's a foreign character on a show, anytime it's a British character, everyone's like, oh, they're so dreamy and so foreign. I love them so much. Blah, 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 blah. And people just obsess over the accent. Like, that's... It's the exact same thing in every single show. People just are obsessing over the accent. And, like, I've seen so many singing artwork where people are just, like, yelling violently with, like, a bunch of Scottish slain uh, with these new characters. And I'm just like, oh, great. I'm already sick of the Scottish... Of the Scottish region. So, yeah, that's been kind of unfortunate. I'm just, like, really sick and tired of that. But whatever. Uh, I guess some people are enjoying it. So, you do you, I guess. Can we Lissa got some experience in this area? Uh, just go over here. Kronk, can you finish him off in one hit? Oh, not even close. Only 10 damage? Only 2 damage for Frederick? What is he? A spear user, so... Axes would be best. <laughs> of course. Cherish. Uh, I guess switch. Do that. Long coup. Wow, this guy's got great defense. Huh. Well, heal. Cherish. See what she could do. Wow. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Good to know. 
Let's just get in as much experience as possible, though. Arrogant pup, the seas are my home, and they will be your grave. I don't really care about these guys and giving them good voices because they, they're dead after this one chapter, so it hardly even matters. Oh, that's awkward. A lot of second stuff breaking in this episode. I'll be sure to get them all switched out uh, before the next one. Maybe, possibly. Oh, pretty cool, but... Oh, double critical, Lanku. I'll take it. Okay. Lanku didn't want anyone to take the spotlight from him. Strike me down, and Ten will take my place. Just like a gray hair, apparently. You have lost... I would say definitely that they are the MVPs. Right. Robin, their general has fallen. I'm giving the signal. Are you ready? All appointed ships, change course. Head right at them. Ramming speed. Gods and thunder. Any second now. On my mark. Steady, steady. We're right on top of them! Now jump! The sea itself is on fire! Right. It worked. It worked. Very nice. Only you could hatch such a brilliant scheme, Robin. Who else would desert half our vessels and turn them into flaming cannonballs? And there was still enough room to, for the remaining ships for all of our troops. Except for Anna. It was so simple. And yet the Valmies never saw it coming. You'll never see it coming. They never considered anyone might be willing to sacrifice half a fleet. Right. We may have won the day, but the war still looms. We must continue on and seize control of their main harbor. Oh, great. All right, boy. I've had enough of the smoke and smell here for one lifetime. Besides, yes. full speed for Valm. Somehow that worked. A lot of singing stuff happened in this episode, and we are more powerful than ever before. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are headed to Valm. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.